Well, in case you haven't heard, after 35 years here at WRGB, Jack is retiring, and today is his last day here at the station. We have some big plans for his goodbye, so we hope you'll stay with us for the next hour and a half to see it all. I think I've compiled a very comprehensive look at Jack's career, some moments, in fact, that he might wish I hadn't found, <laughs> and Jack will join us on set for that at 6 o'clock. But it turns out that there were so many people who wanted a chance to say goodbye to Jack that we're going to let them step up to the mic throughout all of our newscasts, and certainly, Jack, anyone who's had the pleasure to get to know you at all knows you are a great person, a great newsman as we find you, a consummate professional, really, but most importantly to all of us, a gentleman and a friend. Well, thank and you. we wish you all the best. Thank you. And your retirement, and we can't get we can't get mushy yet because no. we got a long <laughs> way to go. You're right. We do. Okay. How are you feeling yep. about this though? It's it's such a weird day. I know. It is so weird. And I'll, and I'll, I, okay. if I start talking hold about on. it, I'll, I won't hold on. So. Hold on. Let me just say that the local landscape has had its ups and downs since I started here three and a half decades ago. And for my last story, I took a look at what went wrong, what's working now, and what the future may hold. You're watching CBS 6 News at 530. You're watching the news on CBS 6. Well, there's certainly been a lot of change here in the Capital Region since I started in November of 1972 broadcasting on this station. Some very tough economic years, but in the past few years, some significant change appears to be underway. Remember how busy Schenectady GE used to be, one of many economic engines driving the economy? Back in the 60s and early 70s, downtowns had vibrancy. Look at all the stores in downtown Schenectady. Downtown Albany had a lot of people shopping. Troy with Freer's, Denby's, and Stanley's. Those three cities subsequently fell into deep economic decline. Amsterdam tried to resurrect itself by gutting the middle of downtown and building a shopping mall. Troy did the same with the Uncle Sam atrium. Neither worked. Schenectady had a number of schemes, and none of them had any significant impact. Even downtown Saratoga had the look of a struggling northeast city and was the first to figure out how to revitalize itself. In Albany, the late Mayor Tom Whalen started talk of a 24-hour downtown, and Mayor Jerry Jennings continued the work. And when I put the Recapitalized Albany Committee together, I said, okay, what do we do now, gang? We had business people, myself, other electors, put a philosophy together. We've had a lot of accomplishments, but not fast enough for me, Jack. Getting that first investment in an old Albany building was the tough part. Now it's taken on a life of its own. We've matured enough so that people are very interested in investing in downtown Albany. They're buying the older buildings. They're looking at the residential possibilities. Schenectady Metroplex dollars have primed the investment pump. One of the first big jumps was Villa Italia Bakery, followed by the Bowtie Cinema, the New Hampton Inn, and private investment in buildings on both sides of State Street, largely attracted by the multi-million dollar redevelopment of Proctor's. In Troy, there's no Metroplex, but they've seen the trend of businesses which had rented, now buying, and residential moving in with the redevelopment of the old Stanleys into the new conservatory, among others. It's all being enhanced with high-tech hope. Hundreds of millions invested in researching new ways to make computer chips, which has attracted scores of new companies, new investment, and new jobs. Universities are helping ideas become businesses, which now employ thousands in the area. GE Global Research has expanded and hired hundreds of new scientists. And remember that bustling Schenectady GE? Just yesterday, a little reversal in a decades-long trend. When I started here back in 1972, there were 27,500 people working at this plant. It's now down to about 3,200. But for the first time in as long as I can remember, word that there is going to be some job growth. Schenectady GE is adding 150 jobs for their wind turbine business, and there are indications there could be more coming, though nothing concrete as yet. And much of the change has been led by people who did not fall into the negativity that had become an art form in this area. They've pushed the positive and they've pushed the possible. Their attitude is starting to spread and that is critical for making sure what has started continues. And I'm sure you could never have seen all the changes that, foreseen all the changes no, that have happened. No, I mean, when, you know, for so many years it was just, oh, this is, you know, the Capital District, nothing can ever happen yeah. here. And, and, you know, you just needed some positive reinforcement and some people to push that. And, and, it, and I think changed. that your business reports helped to let people know what was happening and it probably spurred other development well, as well. I hope so. It's, yeah. uh, you know, there, were, there was always been a lot of interesting stuff going on around here and I thought it was important for people to know that. And well, you certainly found it interesting yeah, and, and made it did. interesting to us. Good. Okay. Thank you for that. I won't see, you won't hear me say nano again. <laughs> <laughs> we did raise our eyebrows a few times. <laughs> Jack said nano a lot in the newsroom for sure. And for the final time, with Eye on Money, I'm Jack Arnicky. Uh, I did ask for just a moment or two to uh, say a couple of words. I've met some 
great colleagues here in my 35 years, more than half of my life spent in this building. Uh, some of them are gone, Bill Duffy, Dick Beach. Um, others have I've had long-term relationships with, Mary Beth and Ken and Judy and Tom and Ed, and other than the first few months, Liz and I have had parallel careers here in this building, and I'm grateful life has afforded me that opportunity. People in the community, there are some great entrepreneurs here creating businesses and jobs so grandkids and kids can stay here to find their career around the corner rather than halfway across the country. Got to keep that trend going. My family has supported me through the crazy hours and the working holidays. My in-laws one year put the turkey in the oven at Thanksgiving at 4 in the morning so we could have dinner at 11 so I could be at work at 1.30. It's wonderful family support I've had. And for all of you who have invited me into my home, into your homes, so many have sent cards and emails. Many of you I have never met. I am so grateful. And all of you, by the example that you've given me, have helped me to realize that one thing is really, really important in this world. No matter what any of us may do for a living, no matter what our profession, the most important work any of us can ever do is to touch someone else's life. God bless. Well, you have certainly done that for all of us, for all of us here and for all the people who have watched and have just loved you over the years, Jack. For, I mean, genuine is the word that everybody uses to describe you. <laughs> you're so real. You're just such, you're so Jack all these years. I, and surely this moment here, our last moment together sitting next to each other, mm -hmm. you know, it's just uh, I, a little part of me can't believe this. I know it. I can't believe it either. But yet I've been looking forward to it for so long. Yeah. I've been planning for it for at least a good year to make sure I, all the financial ducks are in a row. And this last day is so hard. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. Because you have touched so many lives. There's a room full of young people up there that just adore you, that you've been a role model and a mentor to, mm -hmm. and all of the friends that you've had who have been with you all the way. We're, we're, we're so proud of you, well, of the person you. that you are and that you have, have been to this, you know, to this profession. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you God bless much. you. And Thank you. A lifetime I, of happiness. And I guess you got something cooking for six. Oh I my gosh, I forgot to say that. Don't don't miss it. It's <laughs> it's a Jack's life in pictures here. So you're <laughs> going to want to see that. That's coming up at six tonight.